What's up everyone and welcome to the club. Today we'll be drawing AVL Kevin from Despicable Me. So we're gonna begin today's lesson in the center page. We wanna draw two large circles for the eyes, but we're gonna leave a gap in between. So let's start on the top left and bring this all the way down towards the bottom and then back up towards the top. Now we just wanna line this up over on the right side. So we're gonna start by lining up the top. And again, we wanna leave that gap in between the eyes, come down towards the same height. Let's add in the eyelids. We're going to start from the inside and left eye. We're going to draw a straight angled line going up and then out. Line this up on the right. And we want to push the pupils and iris towards the inside. So let's start on the left. We're going to draw a smaller circle going all the way around and then in. Let's add two small black dots in the center for the pupils. Now I want to trace the eyes along the outside, but we're connected in the center. So let's start right in the middle with a point. Now let's start by tracing out the left eye. I want to leave an even space gap all the way around. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's add those hinges on the side of the head, starting on the top left, draw a straight line going across, we can line this up over on the right, come straight down the side, and then back in. I'm also going to separate this hinge in half with a straight line. Now we move up to the top and close off the head. We're going to start on the left side of the goggle, going up, round up the head and come across and then down on the right. And then we're going to line up with the side of the head underneath the goggle, draw a straight line coming down towards the body to right about there. And line this up on the right. From the bottom of the head, we're just going to curve the collar coming down and in towards the center point. Now along the bottom of the head, we're going to shift the mouth over towards the right. So we're going to start out here, bend this across and then up. And we'll add a bracket on the ends. Let's move all the way back up to the top and draw in the hair. We'll start right in the middle, bend this up and over towards the right. Go back down, add a shorter one. Now I want to add two more going over toward the left. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We're going to leave a gap underneath the head on the left side. I'm just going to line this up, come down, draw a straight line coming down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping down, and then come down towards the same height. I'm just going to connect the ends with a curve coming down the middle. Now I want to add a fold across the jacket. We're going to start from the base of the head on the right, curve across towards the middle. I'm just going to pass the center over towards the left and bring that straight down. Now we're going to go to the bottom of the head on the left, bend this down and just tuck that in the middle. Let's add in the shirt collar from the center, and it's out and down. Same thing on the right. And we'll tuck the tie in underneath the collar. Start with two straight angle lines coming in. Flatten this off. And then from the bottom corners, we're just gonna angle this down and out in behind the jacket. Let's draw the jacket collar. We're gonna start right about here, angle this down and out on both sides. Now on the right, we're just gonna bend this down and across towards this point. On the left, we're just gonna tuck this in. Let's go back to the inside of the collar, draw a straight line going across, bend this out and up towards the base of the head. Let's add one button across that flap with a circle. Now I'm gonna add a simple badge over on the right side. Start with a rectangle with a straight line across the top down the sides and we'll close this off and I'll write the letters AVL inside. Let's move back to the center, step down, add a curve, going up the middle and down. Now in the center, draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom of the legs. Let's round out the bottom. 
Start with the left side, coming down and up. Same thing on the right. And then from here, it's gonna bend the leg, going out and up underneath the jacket. Now I'm gonna tuck the feet in underneath. Start with a straight line coming down towards the heels. Let's start with that curve across the bottom of the foot, coming down and up toward the left and right side. Go back to the outside, curve the foot going up, across the pant, and then down. Let's add a thick sole across the bottom of the feet. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and draw the inside edge of the arms. So we're gonna start halfway between the neck and the bottom of the jacket. So right here, then the arm going out and then down. I want to overlap the edge of the glove. So we step in, then it's out, and then up. Let's move up towards the base of the head, draw a straight angle line, coming down in behind the edge of the glove. So we have a little overlap on the outside. Let's add a seam, stepping up to the edge of the sleeve. And then we want to wrap the glove around the arm. So we're going to start from the outside, just going to bend this in along the sides. Now from the inside of the cuff, draw a straight angle line coming down and out toward the thumb. Let's add a small half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Now you want to wrap two large fingers on either side. We're going to start from the bottom of the thumb come around and then back in. Along the side, add the second finger, going all the way around and then in towards the wrist. Let's connect the cuff to the wrist with a straight angle line. Let's do the exact same thing on the right. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how I draw AVL Kevin from Despicable Me. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.